started working on uh, furring this wall out, which means I have to, uh, because the bottom is a different uh, level from there down, it sticks out about this far. So, so these little strips will simulate the studded wall and they'll be 16 inches on center, uh, like a studded wall. And then I can attach the drywall straight to that. I'll cut a hole here for this access. And uh, so I started working on that. We've had this uh, stack of drywall here for quite a while actually. And uh, now I'm slowly putting it in upstairs, but I uh, wanted to just take a moment to make note of that. That, uh, I think that was 12 sheets of drywall and I'll be, I'll be finishing them up and putting that all upstairs uh, by the end of today. There it is. I did. That pile of drywall is all gone. Little scraps I've moved upstairs, but I installed that pile. Now I can move on to the next part of the project, taping and mudding. Here's the update with the drywall. Got it all in here. I need to sand and smooth it. I've got the hallway mudded and taped. It needs to be sanded, right? Okay. And then got a big part of this. I still need to do some mudding and taping in here, especially over there, but uh, got this, this room, which will be the half bath right there, uh, pretty lined up. So yeah, uh, summary of the drywall work. There's the finished product in the west room, and then the drywall texturing and priming in the hallway. And um, finishing that up, uh, I'm gonna put a top coat of paint on it today. The um, east room, I'm leaving unfinished at this point. I'm gonna come back to it because right now our priority needs to be this living space and uh, getting carpet in the hallway tomorrow and an electrician coming to put light fixtures in today and uh, outlets, you know, places like that. And uh, we're ready, gonna be ready for company in a couple of days.